it's partly about you know weird fiction, Lovecraftian fiction, and cosmic horror, but also it's very much about celebrating the city that you're in too. That uh, is really you know a large part of the reason why we do this event, why we put on Necronomicon. It's why we make it so that you have to go between buildings. Uh, sometimes in multiple buildings as you're here to force you to enjoy the city that we love. Um, yes, that's right. Uh, coercion. Anyway, um, but you know, we tried to keep some of the tradition of the original Necronomicon. One of the ones that we've kept very happily is this award that we that is called the Robert Block Award. And it was originally the first one that was given in 1996, I think, was actually given to Robert Block. Um, <laughs> And, you know, it's sort of become, especially sort of under our guise, it's become essentially something like a Lifetime Achievement Award. It's, it's sort of a tribute to those folks in the community who have worked really hard to support other people, to develop the community, to bring in folks and give them a home, essentially. Um, often it's gone uh, to publishers, it's gone to sort of higher level editors that have been doing weird and Lovecraftian fiction for decades. Um, and, and tonight we have we have two such people, and we've actually, because I think we, the excuse is we do this every other year, so we've we're, excuse ourselves for now we give out two of these awards every year, every time we have a Necronomicon. I guess we should have done three this time actually, but anyway. <laughs> Um, so I have two people, and, and it's incredibly difficult to decide because, you know, in amongst this crowd right now, there are some amazing people who have been putting their heart into this community in one way or another for literally decades. Uh, and we owe a lot to those people. Um, we would love to probably award most of you people here some kind of tribute for what you do for us. And that's why you're here as guests. So just that alone, hopefully you can appreciate that is our thank you to you. Um, but anyway, so I, I want to um, talk about the two people that are getting the Robert Block Award for this year. Um, it's, it's difficult to decide kind of where to start, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of randomly, because I'm also incredibly dead tired and stressed out and everything like that, so bear with me. Um, the, the, the first one is, is a, a friend to so many of you here, mostly probably online, um, has done an incredible amount to, to carve out uh, online on a YouTube channel, on uh, various Facebook groups and such, uh, a home for people who want to express their form of weird fiction um, and and be nurturing, despite the fact that it, it, you know, and I can say this from personal experience, it sometimes actually causes physical injury. Like you, some some of us hurt ourselves to make this a welcoming place uh, you know it, it pushes us to extremes and and the person that I'm that one of the first person we're giving this to is somebody who despite the fact that it's not the easiest thing for him um, he pushes forward and constantly is working to be welcoming to people around him um, and I want to bring Mike Davis over if we could <laughs> The one, one thing, of course, the downside of not being inside, you can't quite see how incredible the awards are. Um, let me grab, make sure I'm grabbing the right one here. Um, so, so one of the things that we kind of developed as a tradition, this is thanks to uh, the artist Gage Prentice, who who's made these awards um, prior to this one. Uh, he, he basically did it as a shining trapezohedron, a nod to the Starry Wisdom Church. Um, and uh, this is actually done, is, is Jason here? Um, this was designed by Jason McKittrick uh, and, and kind of following in the same vein. This is for Mike Davis, one of the most kind, generous people that any of you know, and plenty of you do know, and have had the incredible pleasure of working with him. Um, it is a beautiful thing. I think it actually, I think it actually, so it lights up from behind, too. So that's for Mike Davis. It says, Robert Block Award, Mike Davis, Necronomicon Providence 2022. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, Mike's taking the blues background too. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Mike, you want to say something? Uh, speech. If I have. Speech. He has to, right? Uh, I would guess I would just say that uh, my wife is the one that's always believed in my crazy ideas. So if it wasn't for her, uh, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Uh, and 
the other thing I was thinking of when you have Neil's told me was uh, David Ogilvy wrote a book about advertising in his companies and he said when he hires a office manager um, someone in that kind of role he gives them a Russian doll and if they're curious enough to open it then they find another one of course and then another one and another one and another one and if they get down to the to the smallest one they'll find a note from him they found a note from him always saying if we hire people who are smaller than we are then we'll be a company of dwarfs and if we hire people who are bigger than we are we'll become a company of giants and i think that applies to just so many other things beyond business as well so i'm really lucky to have that my point there is that i'm really lucky to have the people i have around me my panelists and and uh, people who have helped me with all the Lovecraft using projects. Um, I, I'm nervous, so I won't say any names because I'll forget somebody else's somebody's name. And, but uh, I really appreciate all of them, and thank you. Thanks, everybody.